Hey ho duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today's question was from Jaffa. Is there any way to record the game, my audio from my mic, and my Discord chat without the music in the background? So I've been asked this a few times, because whenever I'm putting my game clips, everyone's like, oh, you had music on that previously. All this stuff that I'm going to show you is actually built directly into OBS, so you don't need any plugins or anything like that, but I will recommend go and check out this video just up here, because that one will show you how to record record and stream at the same time, okay? Before we get into it, press that like, subscribe, all that jazz, put your rock the stone, let's go. So I'm guessing now that you're at this part in the video, you do know how to re record and stream at the same time, so now I'm going to get straight into all the different audio sources. So if we go into OBS just here, you'll be able to see that we've got my different audio channels down the bottom uh, and obviously I'm only just using the mic one, but I've got mine set up, so I've got the Chrome audio uh, so anything that's getting played from my web browser, I've got my comms audio which is Discord I've got my game or my desktop sound as well, so Chrome is going through a different channel If you want to learn how to separate them more then go and check out this video just up here, that's actually showing you how to use voice meter which is such a powerful tool if you're wanting to have different levels from the stream to what you're hearing as well. So if we go onto the settings button and press on advanced audio properties, you'll get this kind of list of everything that's currently on your audio, so you can see Cam 1's technically got audio, Cam 2, and then you've got my Chrome, Comms, Game Slash Desktop, and also mic that we spoke about and you'll see here there are different tracks you can have up to six tracks so these are all different audio tracks so I actually have audio track one that I use and audio track two that I use so as you can see the only difference on here is chrome audio because that's what I play our music through it's unticked on track two so it's ticked on track one Track 1 is what the stream hears, and I'll show you where them settings are in a second. Track 2 is what is being recorded to my external hard drive. So, whichever one you use for music, untick that. That is all you need to do. And then go up to File, go to Settings. So I was a little bit newbie there, I actually forgot to change the settings whilst I was recording. <laughs> so we need to go to Output, and then go to, you can, you've can you got your streaming, I'm using Audio Track 1 just there, you can see that is actually just lit up, but I'm recording at the same time. Go to Recording, and change that to Track 2 just there, and that is all you need to do. That will then, Recording, will use everything that's ticked with Channel 2, and also streaming will only use everything that's ticked in channel 1. So if you've got any kind of further questions on that, please do let me know. It, it, to, to me, it, it's just kind of working out what, what your tracks uh, and how, what you want in each track. So I always just use one for um, stream and one for just recording. And I just only use two tracks rather than using all six. And it's easy as that really. But let me know below if you do need any help or you've got any other questions on anything else stream related. Uh, OBS, I'm, I'm getting quite good at using OBS now, so I want to share all the little advanced tips that I'm, that I'm doing at the moment. Definitely go and check out the stream made playlist just up here. And yeah, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Put your rock on the stone. See you soon.